When the term wildlife management is mentioned, a lot of folks might think of elk, deer, or antelope. But the Wyoming Game and Fish Department manages over 800 species of wildlife in Wyoming. This past summer, the department placed leg bands on around 70 morning doves as part of a national effort to learn more about population rates, survival rates, and harvest rates of the species. Game and Fish wildlife biologist Grant Frost says the bird is not in decline. Wildlife managers across the U.S. simply want regular, updated data for management purposes. The Fish and Wildlife Service will produce a, a very detailed report on uh, harvest rates, on survival of both uh, juveniles and, uh, and adult uh, morning doves throughout the country. Every, every state that uh, has uh, part in this, this program will, uh, will show the, the, the details of, of their trapping. They put out a very detailed report that uh, helps them work with the states in you know, setting either the, the bag limits, the, how many birds each hunter can take, uh, how long the season can go, and uh, it helps us work with them to, to manage the birds properly. Morning doves are the most popular game bird in the U.S. In Wyoming, hunters take from between 25,000 and 40,000 birds a year. Frost says as conservationists, hunters appreciate having the most updated data on species they hunt. When we, uh, you know, we hold our public meetings, they always want to know that uh, what, what's the data, how, how do you know that you're, you're managing the animals correctly. This is part of the, the process of collecting physical data that we can use, uh, taking it to the public and uh, showing them you know, why we're managing the animals the way we are. Eurasian collared doves are easily mistaken for morning doves. The main distinction is that Eurasian doves have the collar, are not native to the U.S., and don't migrate south for the winter. Most morning doves are now south for the winter, but by next May, they'll be back in the cowboy state. With the Wyoming Game and Fish, Ray Hageman, K2 News.